Jason says, my Google business profile website is not indexed. It has been published and content was built out using your instruction videos. Any ideas? I've heard about that happen occasionally. Yeah. Um, map a custom domain to it. That'll, that'll solve the problem. I've heard about that happening occasionally. I've seen it happen a couple of times. And if you map a custom domain to it, it'll, it'll index for sure. So just, and again, go in, log into the Google business profile, go into the Google business website manager or editor or whatever. Um, and then at the top left kind of area editor screen, there will be a Google always suggests a custom domain. And um, although custom do uh, Google domains have been purchased by Squarespace now or something, I've got like a hundred emails in the last couple of days over about it from, cause I got a whole bunch of workspace accounts and Google domains. Um, anyway, just buy it through their Google domains. And then it, it makes it easy to just map it to a custom domain. So it's going to cost you 15 bucks a year. It's worth it. Uh, the other thing you can do is, you know, build some links to it. Um, publish a press release. Use the alternate format of the Google Business website URL to build links to it. Does it make sense? There's a, I talked about this before. Give me a second, guys. I'll, I'll pull it up again. Just a minute. There it is. All right, so you guys see this. This is uh, Google business websites typically look like this, right? Uh, sorry, like this. Go ahead and put this down here. They typically look like this. So whatever subdomain you put there, and then it's on the .business.site domain. Well, this is the exact same site. All you do is you take the subdomain section and you put that over here. And this is on the google.com domain, not the .business. or business.site domain. Does that make sense? They both resolve to the same location. Um, but this one is much, much more powerful domain, a much stronger domain. So you can take whatever your Google business website URL is, convert it to this format right here, and then build some links to that, right? Um, again, Google Business, that's what we do for all press releases, as I do for, you know, for agency clients is we publish a press release, or excuse me, we publish a Google Business post that is summarizing whatever it's linking to on the money site. And then once we publish the Google Business post, we go extract the post URL from the GB website, which is an inner page URL that looks like this. And then we convert it to this format because it's much stronger and it indexes. And you can rank these posts, no shit. And uh, I put, then once we convert it to this format, then I publish a press release that is linking to this version of the post URL that has the CTA button that links to the money, the page on the money site that I'm trying to rank. And I can hit that post URL with a press release with exact match keyword anchor or what I call target anchors. So that we're getting four to 500 links from press releases with the exact keyword that we want to rank that is hitting that Google business post URL on the google.com domain and then pushing that relevance through a generic anchor or miscellaneous anchor that says learn more on the button to the main site, the main money site page. It is a fantastic way to not only that, but here's a tip. I've talked about this before on Hump Day Hangouts and sometimes I don't share these kind of things on Hump Day Hangouts, but you can push maps in a very specific way, proximity this way, because you can go target like neighborhood levels and then use the Google business posts like this to really kind of hammer. And you can almost like, you can almost like with a, a sniper approach, like start turning nodes in a local search grid, um, you know, to expand proximity. You can do it that way with press releases. And, um, and I've, you know, I've talked about that a lot, but that works really well. So, uh, and again, press releases have an expense, I get it. So you might wanna try some other links, but I just like using press releases because I can hit one of these post URLs with you know three, four, 500 links with the exact match anchor very quickly. And because it's on the dot .google, dot, or the, excuse me, the google.com Google domain, like you can just hammer that shit. And it um, most likely that'll get that site to index too. But the quickest and easiest way is just buy a custom domain and map it to the uh, GB website, okay? 